Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paula One, and today you are watching a triple nuclear with three different guns on Black Ops 2. So, the three different guns are the AN-94, the MP7, and the FAL. So, they're obviously very good guns, but um, at least it's, you know, just not like all... It's something a little bit different. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay by Carnage Sniper. His link will be down in the description below. And also, if we can hit 600 likes on this video, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, you guys have been showing us a lot of support recently. And I think you guys can do it. Challenge, challenge yourselves. Let's do it. Uh, but if it doesn't happen, that's that's okay. No, no worries. Um, and real quick, before I get into my commentary topic, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow us there. Our Instagram is down at the top of the description, and we do a lot of cool things over there to interact with you guys, and uh, are going to be doing some things to be giving back to you guys over there as well. And Twitter is a good place to keep up to date with us. So today I'm going to be talking about advanced warfare and the things that I don't want to see in the game. There's a few things already that are unfortunately already in the game and that I hope that they either remove or they nerf them because I feel like they're going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with. And one of them is being this new, I want to call it the IED like remake. Um, basically what it is, is it's like this IED device and when you walk by it, it will follow you. It detaches from the wall and like follows you. Even if you go around a corner, it will follow you. Um, now, the, the, the good side of this is the people that have said that it's not that big of a deal have said that you can basically outwalk it. So if you're just walking, you don't stop and you just keep walking, not running, but walking, it won't be able to catch up with you. Uh, so obviously, if you're running away from it, it's just going to lose. It's not going to be able to get to you. So that's a good thing. But the only thing is like... If you don't notice it, you turn a corner and stop. There's just still situations that are going to be really frustrating to have to deal with it, which kind of sucks. But uh, at least you know, yeah, at least you cannot walk it, right? Um, so there's that, and also I hope there isn't scavenger C4. So in this gameplay, you can see several times the C4 is being thrown across the map like a C4 sandwich, like a peanut butter and jelly, uh, and it, it is kind of overpowered. It really is. It's it's. It's kind of annoying, and I hope that doesn't make its way into Advanced Warfare. I don't want to see an overpowered C4 again, even though it was fun to use and made good for gameplays in Black Ops 2. I, I want gun skill. I want to see a lot of gun skill in the game. I, I really do. I don't want to have to constantly see C4s being thrown everywhere. Um, so that's one big thing. And the other thing is uh, I don't want, I want to see things that are anti-camping. They, they just have to... They have to get away from catering to the the noobs or campers, I guess I should say. The the people that just kind of sit there and don't do anything and aim down their sights and just are really annoying to everybody. Um, they they you know the, the devices that make it easier to camp. That's what they need to remove. So let's say target finders, uh, uh, not maybe not just target finders from Black Ops Two, but the kind of sights that you see. Um, that we've seen in Advanced Warfare already, the things that kind of like outline your enemies really easy so you can see them and they, re 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 they reduce recoil. Um, those are just things that we can't have in a game. If you're going to have a, a, some kind of tracking device that outlines the enemy, well, first off, they shouldn't have that at all. But if they, if they insist to put it in the game, they need to make it so that it's really not good recoil so that it's it bounces everywhere and it's almost impossible to shoot they need to have a counter they need to make it not very powerful and that was a big problem in black ops 2 wasn't really a big deal in ghost but i see a lot of those kind of things in advanced warfare so far and i hope that they don't uh find its way into the majority of the players hands and that everyone's using it like the uh the like they were in black ops 2 so those are some big things that I really just don't want to see. I I, I don't want to. Here's another big thing. I don't want them to. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. I, it's not that I just don't want them to. There shouldn't be anything that goes against rushers or rushing. There, there shouldn't be anything. There's no reason. They should be encouraging rushing and in saying you know, rewarding rushers. Saying if you if you rush if you play fast you'll get some kind of reward. You'll do better. Not that. Oh, here's a here's a tracking device or a tracking uh, or a target finder, 
sit back in a corner and you can just, you know, or sit, sit up in a window and aim down your sights and you'll be able to spot out, you won't even have to see the enemies, the, the device will do that for you and it will show you where everyone is and you can just shoot them because it's like a laser beam and there's no recoil. That's not what you want to promote. And they did that in Black Ops 2 by giving one of the default classes a target finder. Uh, kind of something for them, for new players to start out with. Big mistake. They should have never done that. And that's exactly my point. I almost feel like the um, the default classes should all be SMGs and that they should all be fast-paced classes that get players moving and rushing and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, that's what I really want to see. Also, another thing is I, I kind of feel like they should make assault rifles not as powerful as they are now. I feel like they should maybe uh, push things towards SMGs and make the SMGs a little bit stronger so that, you know, it makes people move around more and less camping or, or sitting in a corner or up in a window. So those are the main points that I wanted to get across. I really hope that Advanced Warfare is a good game. Once again, I've said this in other commentaries, they put three years of work into this game and I have a good feeling it's going to be fun. I've heard that it's the most skill-gapped game so far, which is good. And it's completely different. At first, I was like, this looks ridiculous. Jetpacks, all these, like, you know, jumping to the left, jumping to the right, having all these new controls and stuff. It looked ridiculous, but now that I think about it, for some reason, I'm extremely excited to get my hands on it. I want to be able to learn. I want to relearn Call of Duty. I want to I want to be able to start fresh and not know how to play the game. I want to have to learn how to do new things. I want to learn new st strategies on how to play well and, and how to do better. Because right now, in the past few Call of Duties, it's just been, you know, you have your gun, you run, and you just play smart. It's, you know, it's kind of the same thing. You use your head glitches to your advantage, all that kind of stuff. Now, head glitches, they're still going to be there, but they're not going to be, it's not going to be the same. Now that the fact that you have that new layer or the new levels of, of play field, you, you're able to jump up into the sky. Right now, you know, anywhere above a certain area is not even, you can't go there. And, and now in Advanced Warfare, you can basically go anywhere in the map, uh, when I, like in the air and stuff. So I'm really excited now to play Advanced Warfare. Uh, Advanced Warfare, honestly, I don't know why I just uh, stumbled across my words. That was that was really embarrassing, actually. That was really bad. But uh, <laughs> Advanced Warfare looks like it's going to be fun. I'm excited to at least play it. I hope there's not a lot of crap in it. And, um, you know, I've heard that the maps are, are, aren't too big and that it plays fast. And that's all things that uh, I've been wanting and that I've wanted to see. So I guess we'll see. I, I wish there was a specialist in the game. The biggest thing right now that I'm really disappointed is that we haven't seen any kind of Moab nuke or chem strike kill streak or not kill streak gun streak uh, reward. That's something that I really do want to see in the game and that I hope that they decide to implement at one point or another. Uh, I mean, they do have the nuclear, but I don't know. I've already I've done a commentary on this before about the nuclear and, and how you, the assault kill streaks count towards it, and that just sucks. I don't really want to see that, um, and I hope that they keep that in there as a metal. That would be cool. But add another thing in there, like a Moab a nuke or a chem strike, uh, for the people that want to go for things with gun streaks. That that's just it's something to go for. It's an incentive to play the game is to go for these Moabs or go for these nukes. But anyways, guys, it's been Apollo One. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Nobody comes up like carnage. Ha. Nobody got gameplays like carnage.